Now, I know you're thinking of brewing a cuppa as you settle in for your Tuesday Titchmarsh show. Hang on. Don't put the kettle on just yet, because you're about to be given the latest scientific research on the best way to make a brew. It comes courtesy of our resident scientist, Dr Emily Grossman. <laughs> Welcome, Emily. Hi. Now, newsy bits first. Science yeah. news. I've heard mutterings, and it's not just in Harry Potter, of an invisibility cloak. <laughs> Are you serious? I know. It's not actually a cloak, we should point this out, but the scientists in America at uh, Rochester have come up with a way of masking objects so that they're invisible, so you can see behind them and around them, but you can't actually see them. It's really amazing. What they... was it based on? It's based on using lenses, kind of not unlike the way that magicians used to do it, using mirrors, uh -huh. but they're using lenses, four different lenses, and then you can put your hand there and you can see through your hand. They've shown it, demonstrated it with a hand, with a face, with a ruler, um, and they're saying that it would be good for maybe putting behind a car so that cars can see behind them if they've got a trailer behind them. Wonderful. Or for surgeons so they can see through their hand while they're doing operations. That, so it's incredibly useful. Yeah. Um, at the moment, it's actually not very expensive either. They, they made the first one using about $1,000, but they reckon they can get it down to about $100 if you do it at home. Gosh. <laughs> $100 for an invisibility <laughs> facility. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Everybody's got out there going, oh, it's... Uh, but we're happier than we've ever been. Yeah. Um, yeah. The um, Office for National Statistics have done a survey. They've been doing it since 2011, and they found that this year we're happier than we've been since they started the survey. So one in three of us say that we're content with our lot, that we think that what we do in life is worthwhile. Yeah. Um, and 39% of us say we've got low anxiety. And the happiest places in the country are some places in Northern Ireland... Yes. ..and Baber in Suffolk. And the Alan Titchmarsh studio. <laughs> Are we happy? Yeah! There you are, you see, happier even than most <laughs> places.